Hello, I'm Anika from Made to Sew, and this is the third and final part of the short series of different stitches tutorials that I've been doing. And this is going to be covering a flat furled seam, as you can see here, the right side and the wrong side. Now, the flat furled seam is predominantly used in heavyweight or thick fabrics that require some strength properties because it's stitched twice and all of the seam allowances are hidden inside the seam. Now, it's used, you'll find it on denim jeans, potentially in men's, other men's wear trousers like chinos, um, and also in a lot of men's tailored shirts. And you'll find that you can actually use either side as the right side. So you need to pay to attention with that when you're doing your project and decide on which side you want to be on the front of the project. So join me at the machine and we can get started. When working with the flat furled seam, if you want this size, which is the sort of regular side, to be the right side on your fabric, then you need to place the wrong sides of the fabric together with the and sew with the right side facing up. If you want the underside of this one to be the right side of your fabric, then you would do the opposite and sew the wrong right sides of your fabric together, wrong side facing up. We're going to sew 1.5 centimeters away from this using, which is five eighths of an inch. We're going to go forwards, a couple of spaces, backwards, and sew all the way down the edge using the standard seam allowance, 1.5 centimeters, five eighths of an inch. And when we get to the end, we will go backwards again, a couple of spaces. Next, it's important to trim your threads before we continue. And this is always best practice to keep on top of your work. Then we're going to press this seam open. And then you want to decide which is the back of the fabric because we're going to trim down one of these sides and then fold the other one over. But we always want to do this towards the back of the fabric. So for this scenario, this piece is going to be my back piece. And I'm going to take this piece here and I'm going to trim down the edge, about one eighth away from the original stitching line. Okay, all done. So now you can see that one side is much smaller than the other side. Then you can press the larger side over the smaller side. And then finally, we need to now tuck this edge up and over. So the edge of this here needs to go and join the original stitching line below and that's what will give you a consistent width to this fold. So we want to tuck it under and some people will find that pressing this works best for them, some people will find that they wish to pin all the way along. That's really your choice. And obviously certain fabrics will be easier than others. So you'll find denim and things like that will be very easy, whereas a, a lightweight cotton shirting might be more difficult. So there you can see the fold. Next, we are going to stitch along this edge one eighth away from this edge. So about two millimeters away from this edge, all the way down. So join me back at the machine and we can get onto that. To finish the flat felt seam, we are going to be sewing one eighth, three millimeters from the edge of our fold all the way down. And we want to go backwards to start and to finish the row. 
making sure that we're doing the same distance of one eighth all the way and you can use your foot or a guide on the foot to get this as good as possible. All the way down to the end, backwards. And there you have it. After trimming your threads and giving this a quick press on the wrong side of your fabric, you have your flat felled seam finish. As I said before, for this, we are going to be using this side as the right side. However, it is possible to use this side as the right side. And the main difference there is that you want to sew with the wrong side of your fabric together, the right side facing up, when you sew the first line of 1.5 centimeters, 5 eighths away from your seam allowance. And then you will always, as I mentioned, want the extra stitch down this edge to go towards the back of the garment. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to see you soon. Bye for now.